right, coming up next, the wait is over for this heavyweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. So here he is, the Gypsy King, the inimitable, the omnipresent, the one and only Tyson Fury. And the boxing superstardom evidently was not enough. We now see Fury making the walk to the UFC octagon here tonight. And say what you want about his ground credentials or lack thereof. But he is confident on the feet. He is very unorthodox. Every round begins on the feet. And that figures to make Tyson Fury a real problem, especially early. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 31, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tyson Fury. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring up your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? All right, are you ready? Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby. The city of dreams. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice defense there, huge block. Straight punch land. Oh, he tagged him with the 
punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Liver kick. By Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. It's such a fast leg kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. Landed a big kick there. Came of inches right there. It was a good night that landed. Big ball punch land. Now we get back in range. Huge block there. He is all about that left kick to the body. It's a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. He went high on that one. Oh, straight right. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Knee strike there, interrupted by Fury. Punch over the top. to the body there. land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. He saw every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Nice body. Big head kick land. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, collar tie. Goes back to that left kick once again. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. There's no tell on that leg kick. 30 seconds to go. Stuff to take down, no problem. And he switches his stance yet again. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, spinning. Nice straight punch. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Second round underway. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Ah, oh, that's 
jab hurt him. Follow this one up. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must have been as effective as the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Ooh, big shot lands. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Here is lower John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many at all. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Defense holds up, and they separate. Big head kick land. Ten seconds to go. And the knee is blocked there. Nice defense by Lee. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, strong. Oh, in there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. When you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to high, high, grab, or wrestle. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now, let Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh, head kick lands to hurt. Well, he's doing a nice job here. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And he landed the right hand there. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Lee. Fury's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Plus right hand is true. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big kick lands. Oh, misses with the jab. Don't stop, don't stop. Effective punch there by Fury. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. He's had that jab in his opponent's face all night long as he lands another one there. DC, I know you wish you had reached like this. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like oh. him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to his feet. All right, he engages oh. him. Gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion. DC, I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the afternoon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yes. and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.